In 2013, two cavers, Rick Hunter and Stephen Tucker, exploring the rising star cave system near Johannesburg, which is the single richest fossil site of its kind ever found in Africa, discovered a tiny-brained species with shoulders and a torso like an ape's, but with some unshakably human-like features as well, and they named the species Homo naledi after the Sesotho word for star. The species had been estimated to have existed between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago in South Africa. The dating of these fossils was quite unofficial though, and many mysteries surround Homo naledi, including how the remains got into the caves. The team who recovered the fossils came to be known as the underground astronauts due to the extremely tight spaces they needed to crawl through to access the fossil chamber. In 2017, a skull fossil of a child likely belonging to this extinct species was found, but it wasn't until November 4, 2021 that this discovery was announced. They called the skull Leti, short for Leti Mela or Lost One in the Setswana language of South Africa. The child likely aged between 4 and 6 years old at the time of their death. The fossilized remains include 28 skull fragments and 6 teeth which were reconstructed by a team of experts led by Professor Lee Berger from the University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, South Africa. The skull was found about 80 meters from the cave entrance in a cramped space. In two journal articles, researchers estimate that the child died almost 250,000 years ago and given that this is the first partial skull of a child of Homo naledi ever recovered, it can offer important insights into the species' different life stages. Letty's brain size is estimated at around 480 to 610 cubic centimeters. Dr. Deborah Bolter, co-author on the paper and a specialist in growth and development, says that this would have been around 90% to 95% of its adult brain capacity. With no signs of carnivore damage or damage made by scavenging and no evidence of the skull having been washed into the narrow passage, the team does not know how Letty's skull came to rest alone in such a remote and inaccessible part of the system. The authors hypothesize that it is likely other members of its species who were involved in the skull reaching such a difficult place. The team that found the skull theorizes that Homo naledi practiced some form of ritual by taking their dead deep into the caves, a behavior previously thought to be unique to humans. Lee Berger said that the discovery of a single skull of a child in such a remote location within the cave system adds mystery as to how these many remains came to be in these remote dark places of the rising star cave system. Researchers say there is likely a lot more to find in the cave system. There may be other locations of Homo naledi material, but there is also a lot of work that still needs to be done in the Tinaledi and Lesedi chambers to understand the geology and context of the fossils, and so many questions remain to be answered. Letty will probably not be the last treasure to come out of rising star's spiderweb of narrow passages. Well, that is all we have for you guys. Do tell us what you thought of the video in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.